Hey guys, so yesterday Tommy and I went to Costco for the very first time. So Tommy and I are um, at Costco and we are loading up. You do? This place is enormous. Where's the food? I'm looking for the food. We haven't even gotten to the food yet. Ooh, oh, ooh, they have Nespresso pods. What do we have here? We came here to do like grocery shopping and I have a cart full of tape, candy, and now toys. I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that we bought. I may not show all of them because we did buy a lot of stuff. Hopefully our grocery shopping bill will be reduced for the next few weeks um, because of it. All right, let's get into it. So a lot of you guys said some of your favorite things were the pantry items. So I try to buy as much organic food as I can. To be honest, I thought there would be more organic food at Costco, but whatever. So we did sprouted pumpkin seeds. I love these. They have seven grams of protein per serving. I will add pumpkin seeds to salads, to oatmeal, um, to granola bars, to pretty much anything I want. Um, you guys recommended these organic fruit and vegetable pouches. There's two flavors that come in them. This is the, sorry, it's backwards. These are the apple, strawberry, yellow, carrot, and there is another variety that is a combo of fruit and veggies. You may hear Connor in the background. I also got some dried fruit in the faster way. We eat a lot of carbs um, five days a week. Um, so dried fruit is one of my favorite ways to satisfy a sweet tooth and also get in my carbs. So I got organic dried mango and I just got regular apricots. I did not see uh, organic. If they had them, I missed them. Next up is a lot of cashews. Again, not organic. These are one of my favorites. This is not a Costco um, thing by any means, but they have them there. Um, these Leah's Vetter Bites, these are absolutely delicious. They literally taste like little cookie dough bites. One of the most popular recommendations were Aussie Bites. I had no idea what they were. To be honest, I expected them to be something like a meat pie for some reason, <laughs> but they have rolled oats, apricots, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, honey, coconut, quinoa, chia seeds, and more. Um, they sounded right up my alley, um, and so I gave them a try. They are a little dry, but they are pretty good. 15 carbs, two grams of protein, and only seven grams of sugar for being added. So these are definitely gonna be a good snack for me. No, it is gluten-free, this. This is grain-free granola. This was also highly recommended to me by Autumn's Gold. This, I think, is a Costco, um, oh, it says General Mills, so I guess this isn't Costco. But anyway, I've never seen it before, so I got it. These were also recommended to me. So on the faster way, we do low carb Monday, Tuesdays. And so I need things that are kind of high fat, low carb, and these fit the bill. People recommended I get these. Again, organic coconut clusters, pumpkin seeds, as I already said, chia seeds, sunflower seeds, lots of good stuff. These are gluten free, as I had mentioned. Let's move on. I'm going to bring you to my pantry so I don't have to unload everything. All right. So everybody recommended peanut butter. Um, we also got the almond butter. I got tuna. Someone said that there is a wild version that I should have gotten instead. Whatever next time. I have been meaning to try this, so why not get the biggest bottle possible? When I am pregnant, I crave mayonnaise, which is really weird. Maple syrup. That is for the boys. I also, well, I, I use maple syrup too. I don't know why I act like I don't. Um... I tried these granola bars. They don't have too much sugar in them. Connor already ate two and with 64 in there, that's a good thing. They only have seven grams of added sugar. Dates, one of my favorite, favorite treats. Also a way to get in some good healthy carbs. Um, ooh, rouse. Sorry, you guys are seeing my unorganized pantry right now. Everybody recommended getting these at Costco and we did, of course. Some of the bigger bulk items. I grabbed a case of coconut water, pirate's booty for the boys. Someone recommended getting the almond milk. It's shelf stable, so at least I'll always have it. I go through at least a gallon a week of almond milk, so it'll be nice to have some backups and not have to go to the grocery store every single week to get fresh. Honest juice boxes. Going on over to the refrigerator. First, we have organic apples. Tommy saw Mickey and immediately needed to have them. Here, I told you guys we got the almond butter. 
I also got a variety of organic meats. This is the organic ground beef. I also got the organic chicken breasts, which are down below. We also grabbed Grillo's pickles. This is like a huge container. Being pregnant, I will go through those. These here are the stuffed peppers. I'm not like a stuffed pepper person, but people recommended them and they seemed pretty easy to have as a quick dinner. I'll help you, Connor. Hold on, guys. I also got these organic hummus single serving packets. I thought those were great. Huge thing of lettuce. Big thing of strawberries, raspberries. I know you want, that's why I got them. I thought that the Mickey would make you want apples. Also got 18 eggs, organic. So I also got a 50 pack of mini Play-Dohs for $10. We also got one of those giant jugs of organic olive oil. And then we also got the toilet paper and the paper towels that everyone recommended. So we do not have to buy any toilet paper or paper towels for the rest of the year. I did not hoard, I just bought one. Um, but if you've been looking for paper towels for a while, like we have, finally found them. Lastly, people told us that the cauliflower pizza was really good. So we grabbed one of these, or I grabbed one of these. And then lastly, I thought this sounded really good. Um, it's organic. It's for smoothies, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, kale, spinach, bananas. Sounds kind of awesome. The kids are into smoothies these days, so why not give it a try? I also got our Halloween candy. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with Halloween this year, but Tommy insisted and I figured, why not? Um, I, I'm not going to turn down a Snickers yeah, these days. And I also got Tommy that toy that I have in the clip. Um, so that's what we got at Trader at Trader Joe's. That's what we got at Costco. Um, oh, and for dinner we had the taco kit, which was a hit. I highly would recommend. It was fifteen dollars, but it fed my whole family. So two thumbs up from me. Don't know the next time I'll be going to Costco, but I think I'll definitely be going without a child. So thank you to everybody for your recommendations. Um, I also said some of the top suggestions were diapers and wipes and a lot of people, or rather two people wrote back and said they hate the wipes because you can't actually just grab one. So I didn't buy them because I don't need wipes. Connor's completely potty trained. Anyway, let me know what you thought.